Are you outside of balance? Be careful what you wish for. There's a method to it. I'm describing until it happens. I can feel my heartbeat pulsing in the back of my back. I can feel it in my stomach like I've been down this choice before. Oh, cross with possibilities, ascending and descending, staying, staying true. Ooh, and what's the Uh, he was six weeks early, so he like wanted to be out and ready to go even before his time. He is from St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, he was born and raised on the east side, and then we moved down to Egan, Minnesota. That's where he really developed his roots. Our folks supported us. Like they gave us a bunch of like options of stuff to get into, like different sports, or they threw it out there. Like here's a, a platter of stuff, you know. And, pick what you like and I like the piano. Nicholas was about nine years old and he wanted to play piano. Probably when I was young when my grandmother told me the story you know when my grandfather was passing. And Nicky was in the basement and Nicky played and he was just a little boy. I think that was third grade. Even when when my husband got very ill and Nick wasn't there out of nowhere play the piano don't ever stop playing the piano. Don't ever stop. That really, that moved me quite a bit. It's only a year after playing that, and that's, I would say, I've been inspired, and then. But he said he wanted to um, take voice lessons. And I said, you can sing. <laughs> when he was starting out, he was real nervous, and be like, who's this guy? And you know, he's got this shaggy hair. And, and I said, now please be honest, if you know, if he can sing. Then all of a sudden he'd start singing. I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. I was like, wow. <laughs> this guy can sing. Like, he, he's got something going. The feeling is. The feeling is the feeling. You know, it's funny because no one really knows where it came from. His name, because he sings with so much soul, people say that. And then because of the band, so just kind of like, hey, there's the feeling. Pure, whatever's in your brain coming out through your instrument. It's trying to turn turn it into freedom. He's taken his music to a different level, I'll say. You know, I think it's just the way he works and the way he plays and you just kind of get up there and you feel it. That's uh, a good sign of a good musician, is being able to speak to people in a good way. Each different player breathes, you know, a different breath into the song, so it keeps it fresh, too, from this perspective, you know, so that keeps it exciting and able to pour, pour yourself into it and, again, keep it genuine. Whoever Nick asks to play with them, they just say, yeah. People from the Big Woo era who used to be Nick's idols, they're playing with Nick, and Nick is playing with them. The musicians around the Twin Cities, it's a phenomenal pool of talent, and they all love Nicholas's music, and everybody wants a chance to play with them. It's been funny, the evolution of all the different band members, even with the core guys that he plays with, with the Feelin' Band and his Feelin' Duo. The members always change, and you know someone new is playing, but the old ones always come back, and it's just this huge network of, of musicians. I write, how I write and how I create is I listen. I listen for it. I listen for the chords that are already there. I listen for the rhythms that are already there. I listen for the story that's already there. And I just hear it. And I can't force it. It's just something that comes. And when it comes, sometimes it comes in multiple tunes. Sometimes it comes 
in just words where I will just write stuff down in my in my Bible, my book. That's uh, I came up with the title for that CD. I just wrote it in my book, and I'm like, oh, you think yeah. So well, we got five albums under our belt right now. Um, working on a little EP, which is another example of the diversity of Nick's music. Not one of the CDs has been the same. So the first album is Four Legged Light, and that's acoustic singing, totally raw, the roots, so to speak. And as the roots grow deeper, it's uh, the second one, Sacred Play of Life, four piece uh, concept album. The third album was made before the second one, Oak Chase Way, solo piano, growth piece, huge growth piece. Fourth album is Together We're Stronger, 40 different musicians from the Twin Cities area, strings, horns, just a kaleidoscope of sound. Fifth album, Information, Dylan Na and myself doing some electro pop type stuff, trying to fit freedom onto a CD. The sixth album, it's more string focused, trying to make something that's hauntingly beautiful. Basically music is his life every day, you know, listening to music finding new stuff, playing new lines, practicing songs, writing, just he lives it every day, all day, and I don't know what else he would even do. Well, it's uh, a whole new story when you talk to Nick about his fatherhood. Um, I'm, I'm a frog when it gets stuck in your throat, it couldn't do the thing up, hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> You are getting to be a big boy. Look how tall you are. Can you reach up to the ceiling, tall boy? Oh, we almost got it. Ah! I can reach. Oh. He loves his son. He's one of the most warm and gentle men I've ever seen with children. He stays home with Isaiah, his little boy, and they play, and they got just a wicked setup of toys, and he's got a just insane collection of Disney movies, and every character, every toy you could probably ever imagine. You know, it's a pretty magical place. I love it. 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 I, I always, I knew like I'm here to play music, but like I always wanted to be a dad. Like I always wanted to be a father, and now that I can do that, and I am doing that, it just I'm filled with gratitude and with a love that again I don't. I don't even try to explain it because it would like almost discredit it with words and Take it too much time.